Hi folks and welcome back to the channel. So what have we got for you today? As you've probably seen from the description, we've got something else from Cathedral City. It's a quiche. So let's have a quick look at what we got on the box. I need my glasses. You know what it's like, old age. Well, it's cheddar, ham and hock quiche. Whatever the hock bit is all about. Uh, alcohol, maybe. So that's what she looks like. So let's have a look at the contents. And there we go. And there's all those nice nutrients. Oh my God, look how much that is. So it says here, for best results, we need to be baking this at 200 for around about 50 minutes. Sort of having a bit of ring to this. Most of the pies I do are all around about the same sort of <laughs> temperatures. And times, I know what you're thinking, because I'm thinking the same, which is not a bad thing, really. So let's have a look and we'll see what you get for your money. Oh, I don't know what you think of that, but that is a bit of a weird looking thing, isn't it? I've never come across anything like that before. I'm not sure if it's the same on the box yet. It is. I just thought it was an ordinary quiche. So let's get ourselves a baking tray. Why? I suppose we better get this little baby into the oven. And we know where the oven is. It's over there. So if you don't know anything about these sage ovens, I'll just show you. Right, for baking, you need the bottom shelf. So you can pop the pie in. Then obviously we need on here the bake cycle. It's this one up and down to so the bake cycle. Now this is your temperature. So you want 200 and this is the timer. So we want 50 minutes. And you press. And that goes into a preheating mode. Because normally at this stage I turn around so I've got one already done. But I don't want to be eating too many of these pies. They're too fat. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, there you go, folks. I've just got it out of the oven. Now, I will tell you straight away with this quiche, it is very fatty. The tray was full of oil. Now, oh, I'm not a lover of too much fat in my pies or quiches. It's a very unusual thing for me to see. I'm not used to that, but maybe it's coming from the inside of the product altogether. Well, I suppose there's nothing like it. So let's have a quick close up. Doesn't that look really, really nice? Mm. So there we go. I think let's stop all this wasting time and get straight on with the nitty of tasting. Or well, straight away, I'll go straight for the pastry. Well, the pastry is very, very nice. It could do with a little bit more salt in it, <laughs> as I keep banging on about salt. So the main thing of the job is to cut her open and see what she's like. Well, I suppose looking at it, it doesn't look that bad. So let's have a good close up and we'll go through it. And that's what the inside of the quiche looks like. Now that nice bit of pastry, it's been well baked here. It's not burnt though, it's just perfect. And there's all your quiche stuff inside, all the egg and the cheese and stuff. Be interested to see what this tastes like now. And I take it this is like breadcrumb on the top. Oh, I'll only have a little chunk really. I'm not gonna have a, a load of it, so I've cut it up again. Mm -mm. It's a bit odd actually. It's not what I call a quiche. It's a bit of a weird thing. <laughs> this is a very unusual quiche in my estimation. I'll have another go. Oh, I'm not sure about that. 
Well, as to this, this is a bit of a weird thing. It's the combination is a bit odd. The first thing you do get is a load of fat in your mouth. You've heard me say this before, and it was dripping in fat. Now, the center of this is so weird, it's, it's almost like they've used gaga -ga gum. And if you're old enough to remember this, there was a young lady called Sam Fox and her boyfriend used to try and sell gaga -ga gum to the public to lose weight. This has gone back a very, very long time ago. And this is a product you use in manufacturing. Gaga -ga gum is quite commonly used. And to me, I didn't read all the writing on the side of the packaging because there's so much of it. But I've got a funny feeling there's a lot of that in it. It's sort of made the egg do an unusual thing. It's gone like gum, basically. It's almost like having chewing gum, but with air in it. It is a weird combination. Now, going back to the flavor, you can barely taste the ham, and there is some else in there, a bit spiciness, basically pepper, and some other things in there as well. I can notice there's some yellow things. Can you see that? It's yellow. I don't know what that is. You can see it's got a weird combination. You can see it's, it is a bit of a weird look. <laughs> see? Quiches don't do this. Look. It's, it's all gummy. It's very weird. Now folks, if you've had this product, let me know in the comments below what you think. Because it is a weird combination of a quiche. I'm really not sure about this at all. And I think there's only one place for this. It's a dustbin. It is very odd to me. I'm not a lover of this at all. And I'm going to say it is appalling. I've had some real bad stuff in my time. But I'm going to put this at a 2 out of 10. It isn't nice. It's not a quiche. Well, there you go, folks. And that's what I think of the quiche. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe and please share. And do check out the description below because there is numbers of things down there for you to watch and links to other videos on the channel, which I've done reviews. Now we will try a quiche like this using puff pastry, but we'll do it really. This is crap. <laughs> And we'll see you again very shortly on the Crazy Baker channel. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!